Let me start by thanking EPP colleagues for raising this important point. It has got the attention for the, from the Parliament for months now, demanding for concrete action. And also, let me also kindly thank EPP for the free publicity to our S&D Bring the Bills Down plan. By the way, since we are talking about it, you could even consult www.bringthebillsdown.eu, which is the website of our campaign with our proposals. I would say, Commissioner, friendly, it could even inspire you, I hope. And Commissioner, I say so, because we are waiting for concrete action for too long. Concrete results are not to be seen yet. Finally, the Commission proposed a long-awaited price cap. We recognize it is a step in the right direction for the sheer fact that we have a proposal. But we need it to be fine-tuned, and I would say quite a bit. Experts are telling us that the chances for this price cap proposal to be triggered any time are almost the same of a tree being hit by a lightning bolt in the middle of the ocean. And the speculation on the TTF market is not even addressed, Commissioner. And the decoupling of gas and electricity prices is also not to be found yet. In the Iberian Peninsula, as you well know, it is already saving around 15% on electricity prices to consumers. What are we waiting for in the rest of Europe? Commissioner, being this a debate on keeping the bills down, I would say that the Commission is still missing a central piece of action. We need direct support to the families most affected by the energy poverty. S&D leader will present a long-awaited long plan before the next Council, a proposal for a fund of 100 billion euros to support the European families through the winter, a true winter solidarity package. We can do it with the resources we have and the proceedings of a strong windfall profit tax. We can do it. It's just fair that we do it. Thank you.